and I started lacing them together. I would lace the whole thing together while you guys are watching, but we don't have two days. So, yeah. So I, I laced the biggest part of it. And now it's still going to be a race to see if we can finish it. But, uh, well, let's quit I talking start, about it and start you, on. You want to start lacing some? Oh, sure. Show me I what hope, I'm doing. I hope you do. So I was asking you about it, how this gets its natural curve in, curve in there. And just thinking about when you were making the pattern. Here she comes. Here I am. Chad, will you go to that overhead? Cool. Hi, Denny. Oh, Hi, guys. <laughs> nope. I made it. We're glad. I even got a fresh cup of coffee yes, before I came. Yes, and your double, All right, double try now. Whopper Jod cup. My double Whopper Jod cup, yes. So we were talking about the pattern and how it gets that fold over, and it's going from this angle instead of carrying on over this way, cut it down, and then when you start lacing it together, it just makes yeah. that natural. Yeah, when you pull everything together, it, it, uh, it just yeah. makes it, it shape does like this. that. Does, yeah, it does that. does one of those numbers. <laughs> hey, look what I got yeah. over here. Here for you, Elizabeth. I know. Look at that little lamp. Isn't I hung the lamp up, lamp up for you. Let me switch your spots. Thanks. Okay. Because you can go in lace, and I'll go <laughs> to the computer. Scooch it right in here. Hey, there's a hair in my coffee. Oh. Is it a Luna hair? Oh, probably. You know, <laughs> who knows? My whole life is covered in Luna and Miko hair. Yeah. Hey, Denny. Hello. I'm glad to have you. Well, thanks. Glad to be here. Look at this little lamp. <laughs> Isn't it cool, guys? Okay. It is cool. All right, what we're going to do, and and you were worried that I was lacing too much. Yeah. You won't be worried about that when you start lacing. Oh, because I have to finish it? Well, <laughs> we still have three seams to do. One, two, three. So we'll just have some time to sit and talk again. We won't. <laughs> it takes almost an hour to, to do one of these seams. Ooh, okay. Well, that's so, what I mean. We'll have some time to just to sit and talk. Okay, yes. <laughs> Okay, I see. What you're <laughs> all right, so what am I doing? Okay, I always start at the bottom here. I have on all the rest of them, so to be symmetrical with the rest of it, start okay. at the bottom. It, we've got a lace, and we have lace. Yeah, to do to do each one of these seams, it takes approximately nine to ten feet of lace. So I cut about ten feet. Okay. And you have a, a needle, a lacing needle on each eighth end of, of one piece of lace. And this is eighth inch lace, it looks like? Yes, that's eighth inch lace. Eighth inch kangaroo. We use the lace, uh, an eighth inch uh, chisel to punch those holes. And, oh, right. And remember, you can you can use thread to do this with, and you don't have to lace it like this, but this is the way we're lacing this one. That's right. So, yeah, just go through each hole. You can just have it over there. Oh, thanks. Just do it here. right here. I'll take, let me show you a little trick that I do. That way you don't have to chase it. The extra heavy dead weight comes in handy. Okay, and I want to make sure my lace is the same. Mm -hmm. Go in both sides. And you have a fid here. If you have trouble getting it through the holes, just stick that fid in there and stretch the hole out a bit. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> You sound like my wife whenever I say something. She says, yes, sir. <laughs> and her sister calls her husband Master. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Master's here. <laughs> I got to go. That's weird. I don't know how I feel about that, Denny. <laughs> <laughs> he might not know that. I don't think she does that to his face. <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes it pretty good. Sorry, Kathleen. <laughs> Oh, look at that. All right. All right. So we've got this, and then we're going to... Okay, now you've got to take the lace that's coming out come... of this hole and come yep. back up through the opposite hole. I see that. I see I see what you're setting down here. You know what I'm setting down? You're picking up what he's throwing down? That's right. Yeah, you're right. And this, you guys, this is a wrestling match, which you think, how hard could that be? But once you start doing it, you'll... See how you will understand. Yes. But the key to lacing is take your time and do one hole at a time. And don't worry about the next one until you get that one done. That seems like a good plan. Yeah. If you get in a hurry, that's when you get frustrated. So. I don't know if I can get you in that picture there. Do you you got, a, got, got him on the top. Yeah, no, but you can't really see anything because one is small. Well, I'm lacing from the back side, too. I don't know if you can see that. I can probably Waller this out a little bit. Yeah. 
Your work is going on on the back side, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm behind the cameras. Oh. I'm behind the scenes here, you guys. <laughs> on the inside. We can kind of see something that you got going on over there. Denny, did you tell me you were going to put me to work today? No, I thought you knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to surprise you, but if I did, uh, I'm wow. glad you're here. I can say that. <laughs> Who was who was your friend over there this morning? That his name is Dick Bushman. Dick Bushman. He is a fellow that I've known for many years. I used to team up with him. You know, I've never met that man, and he's giving me a hard time. Oh. <laughs> well, he's like that. That's all right. He shook my hand though afterwards. Typical cowboy. You're in trouble. That's all. That's from okay. the word go. What's your favorite type of lacing? Uh, I like I like to do uh, the double loop lace. I enjoy doing that. Yeah. This and this is not so. This is not hard to do. Just when you're doing it on a project like this, it's uh, really awkward. Okay, so I always, since I went from left to right, I want to always go from left to right yes. so that my yes. my Make, line is the same. Yes. Is my line the same as your line? It is, right? It's uh, over. We've got yep, it. Yep, you've got it. Okay. This, okay. this one is under, that one's over. Okay. Yep. But that really doesn't matter when you go mm. from one to the other. You'll... Denny, symmetry it, it always matters. matters. Okay. <laughs> Never mind, you guys. Listen to Liz. <laughs> you are right. Yeah, I know. I mean, make... <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> every now and then. <laughs> Hush. Over there. Oh, for Pete's sake, this is going to take me forever. Well, I was thinking about that, and you're probably right. <laughs> but I was also going to tell people that if we did this every day... Aliens are coming for you. You know who it is? You mean to answer for you? I'm nope. good at talking. I don't know yeah. who it was. Oh, that's okay. I don't care who it was. I'll still talk to him. Well, I put my phone... I, I thought I put the ringer on silent, but obviously I'm wrong. <laughs> For the second time this show, you're wrong. Symmetry matters. <laughs> yeah, And, <laughs> and your I phone is did, not on silent. did not silence my phone. You know, you guys, no one ever calls me. Except for when you're in here? Mm -mm, yeah. And that's happened. I get spammed a lot in here. I know that. I don't know who that was. If they had money for me, I'm really sorry I didn't answer it. Well, I'm sure they did. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure you had to give them your social security number and all sorts of things. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to... I'll tell you what, the last one, the last two are going to be the hard ones. Okay. Well, I'll just, I just need to get this figured out. I need to get my pattern going so I can see yeah. it. Son of a gun. Denny, me, Denny I dropped your fid. No, I just didn't want to put this I don't down. Know where it went. I'll get it. It probably went under the table. Luna, did you take the fid? <laughs> it's got a nice wooden oh, handle yes, for me to chew on. on your side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> it's broken. But I, I think that that's. I think that's on purpose. Yeah, I think, I think so that's regular. So it won't roll. Okay, well, it, it didn't do that for me. And this one, see, the blade is curved, so it can only roll. It goes like this. Mm. It's going to be a great day. If we don't get finished with this, we'll explain how we do finish it. How does that sound? That sounds okay. Yep, that's what we want right there. Okay. It's like lacing my shoes. I've just resigned myself that every time I put the needle through a hole, I need to stretch it out first. Yeah. You can get through it with the first time, but then the second time you go yes. through, uh, yeah. it, it's not happy, especially coming up from the back. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's hard. Because the back is tighter. And you can't see the back. Yes, that is also the thing. That's also the thing, huh? Doing this, just make sure you don't to uh, get your lace twisted. Which is the part that takes the longest. And I'm sure somebody has some idea for how to not do that. Yeah. Well, you can lace this a number of different ways. You know, the simple way would be just to use every other hole and you wouldn't go through each hole twice. But we aren't noted for doing the simple thing here. That's well, not nearly as fun looking. Yeah. Oh, son of a gun. And when you get to the, after you're done with that flat part, when you get up there, mm -hmm. it gets exciting. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> it gets exciting. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm, I'm on the the part up here where it's starting to get exciting. Okay. Mine looks the same. That's all that matters. Yeah. Hey look, it's it's Friday boot day. Yes, it's boot day. <laughs> Connie and I both uh, honored Friday boot day. Mm -hmm. I didn't because I honestly didn't want to walk in the snow uh, <laughs> with my leather boots because I felt that I'd probably trip and slip and fall because it's <laughs> slick. So I've worn my tennis shoes. And then I parked in the front because I, I brought stuff in. Oh, is that what the excuse is? Yeah, that's what the excuse is. Well, I bring in stuff every day. Does that mean I can park up front? Well, did you bring in ink cartridge toners in a really big box? I thought about it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All I did was carry my lunch, though. Does okay. that count? No. I carried my wallet in Ooh. and my coffee. Very nice. Yeah, my hands were really full. In that big old brain of his. Yeah, it's just my bit. It's got to fit in my big old head. <laughs> yeah, that, that head, that was heavy. Uh, maybe if I do this. Bradford on there saying how exciting this is. Thanks, man. Also, thank you for the beautiful pen. It was gorgeous. It writes really, really well. Yeah, it writes better than mine. Yeah, because I dropped Tony's. <laughs> um, and I broke the, the tip of the ink thingy. And I'm very sorry. And I was very sad. <laughs> Made me feel real bad. Especially when a special pen shows up. I know. Could barrel lacing, like we do on saddle skirts, work on these? Sure. 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 If you've got the money, it's got the time, you know. <laughs> uh, once you get finished with this, with the lacing, can you do a resiline finish on the leather after it's been laced? Uh, sure. See, I, I did the finish on this leather before. Uh, yeah, you finish out, you... You antique your panels and then yeah. you finished them. And, and that's simply because when you've got the lace on there, you've got a lot of little spots that are going to be hard to get your. Like if you wanted to into. put a coat on afterwards just for giggles and the other thing. Um, stuff. And you could. Stuff and giggles. Stuff and giggles. <laughs> uh, slick and giggles. Yeah, slick and giggles. <laughs> or toodles and giggles. <laughs> then. You know. Oh, for just for funsies? Yeah. <laughs> I like funsies. Fonzies. Funsies. You know what I watched last night? What'd you watch? I watched the original Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> really? Really? With Rex Harrison. Well, because I watched My Fair Lady the night before last. Because really all I've done is get home and watch movies this week. Because I'm tired and I just want to lay on the couch. Um, I forgot how fun those movies are. Those songs are interesting. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know how I feel about them. Uh, but it's always, it's a good time. I like Rex Harrison. 
my wife has started watching uh, Lucifer. Oh, my. Have you watched any of that? No, I haven't. <laughs> I've heard that it's good, though. It's good. It's starting to get monotonous to me a mm. little bit. But, I mean, it's got a lot of good content to it, I think. <laughs> All right, I've made it to the top here. Wow, look at you go. I'm almost to the curvy portion. Yeah, you're almost to the excitement. <laughs> is there a, you know, like we say, four or five times for stitching if you're doing a saddle stitch, is there a measurement or so that you helps you guide what you know that you're lacing? I don't quite understand that. If you, how'd you figure out that you needed the length? The length of lace well, you needed. Well, I guessed at it to tell you the truth, but uh, I I just figured I'm going through each hole twice, and I figured well that <laughs> means probably twice as much lace, but then I figured that's probably not enough, so, <laughs> so I added to it. The first one I did, I I cut off nine feet of lace, and I know that because I wrote it down. I was very diligent about that. And when I was done, I measured how much I had left, and I had about six inches on each on each piece of lace. And you and said I, that's not enough. And I thought, yeah, that could get tricky. So I added a foot. But now this is what I have left. So I think that was a, a pretty good, pretty good measurement, <laughs> about about nine or ten feet. We have some people trying the block dyeing method that we did. Uh, yeah. Michael, in fact, was doing it on the uh, shotgun case that he was doing. Oh, nice. yeah, cool. Did yeah. you pick some fun colors, or are you just doing good old Probably regular good colors? Probably fuchsia or something like that. Uh, does the lace need to be treated after you get done? Uh. I mean, didn't you probably, probably with saddle I'll soap? I'll probably it. rub it with saddle soap, <laughs> yeah. That'll, because the lace kind of gets, it's worn, kind of shop worn while you're doing this. Mm -hmm. But when you saddle soap it, it'll kind of smooth things back out. I'm taking this, you can use anything, you don't even have to do this, but I like to just kind of get that seam kind of flattened out. Oh, maybe you could flatten it over here. Cool, maybe, thanks. Maybe I could. <laughs> That's my other job. Tell me where, <laughs> where I Don't you tell me where to hammer my lace down. Travis Allen has a question. I'll ask it so you don't... Yes, Travis. ...hit yourself or lift with your hammer. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Have you ever had any trouble with dark brown pro dye being spotty on a piece of leather when you dye it after it's been cooled? Uh, I don't know exactly what you mean by spotty, but more than likely, uh, you've got gotten something on it, you know, other than just water, and uh, the leather is is not taking everything the way that it uh, that it should. Well, we had finished that. Remember that little shepherd's pouch we did? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And we did it, we took on all our edges and then we did that mahogany dye on mm -hmm. top of it. Yeah. Didn't look too hip. <laughs> yeah, because because you can see where I'd use that token oil. Yeah. Yeah, so is there anything else that you could put on besides any oiling of it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's done. Now while Liz is lacing that, maybe I'll try and put some of this oh, yeah. this top deal. I'll, I'll do what I can do on it. And this, I made a different one than we had the other day, so if Tony's going to copy a pattern on this, this is the one he'll want to use. I haven't scanned them in yet, so okay. I'll just wait until see how it was put together, and yeah. then we'll scan it. <laughs> That's good. We did have a question that was asked, how, what would an acrylic template of this cost? But we're going to give you the paper template that you can yeah. print out and yeah it'll cost you nothing yeah. for that yeah put it on bontex and it's i mean good to better go. than paper yeah it's not they quite as good as acrylic they want a template they can email me though mm. chad, chad has taken on the responsibility of doing acrylic templates at springfieldleva.com
All right, so Denny, on my little on my little curve here, the back of this lace, mm -hmm. it, should I pull that up or? Yeah, if you can get the slack out of that, maybe okay. use your fit on the mm -hmm. on that side and kind of. So guys, I've got back out. as this corner comes in, these laces are puckering in here because I'm got math, and we're gonna try to pull that out a little bit. That's that's normal. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. this way. Now who's making noise? Chad. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't get a hold of Denny, so now they're calling Chad. <laughs> Trying to give him money. <laughs> <laughs> Michael on a shotgun case said he was using the uh, brick red Angelus paint. Nice. And then the, uh, remember we did that? And then we did the highlighter over the top of it? Yeah. That was, that was one probably of my favorite. Like Denny, ones. yeah. Oh, you got, nope. you got one here. You have this one. Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah. Nice color. That may have actually been dye, and then he did the highlighter, but I think you'll get the same effect. Yeah, that belt strip, I believe, is what that brick red was on. You know, I don't have time for that. This is... <laughs> We're pressing matters at hand. Just this do some double cap rivets, Denny? Yes, this is just double cap rivet. There we and, go. That's and better. this thing I've got is just a piece of steel that I have. You guys just use any whatever you've got that can you can make it work with. If you've got one of those feet things, one of those cobbler's feet, mm -hmm. that could be handy to get it into these. It would be very handy. Awkward spots. I was thinking about bringing that in here, but I did not because I thought I would show people how I fumble around and... <laughs> <laughs> done without one. Tea time. The problem is, is that you have to remember all the steps. I keep straightening my lace and then I remember that my hole isn't opened up yet. Mm -hmm. Or this and that. So then I have to keep putting it down and then I have to straighten my lace again. Well, like I say, if we did this every day, we would definitely find a routine. Doing if we were of, lampshade makers, if we yes. were custom leather lampshade makers, yes. yes, we should do that, Denny. Well, I don't know how many times we'll have to do this one. <laughs> <laughs> we could become quite proficient. <laughs> Tom says, what's a good day to show up and get a tour? Um, probably any day but Saturday. I mean, if you want to, if you want to see Denny as well, then a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Yeah, but I am going to be gone for the next two weeks. So if you don't want to see Denny, don't come. If you don't want to see Denny come in the next two weeks or on a Monday <laughs> or a Tuesday. <laughs> uh, when and where will we get a paper pattern? We will put the paper pattern on the uh, YouTube video as the easiest place for us to put it. And... We'll see if this turns out, and if it turns out, then... Oh, Tony Yee of Little Faith. <laughs> when this when this turns out, we will put it on there. Probably early next week, if not later this afternoon. You can come around lunch, Michelle, then you just got to take us to lunch. Travis Allen says, I just used water to tool it, and it stays clean at the tooling workbench. It's on... 9 to 10 ounce uh, Herman Oak, and it looks uneven, similar to the Tokenol problem, but it's all over the place. Well, you might have had some moisture still in the in the leather. I don't know. Uh, without being there when you did it, I'm not sure what happened. You might have uh, you might have not gotten enough dye on it. You know, a lot of times if you saturate your dye a little more you'll get a more even coat. But that's the problem with, with a, a regular spirit dye is a lot of times you can't do it without streaking unless you do it with maybe a, an airbrush. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, did you, I don't know if we showed the little anvil thing that he was using. Looks like a train axle, train wheel axle. Yeah, it's that's actually a wrist pan out of a diesel truck engine. I don't have no pins in my wrist. You know what? Oh, that was Eric that asked that. We can I need to get that. you the side so you the size of his leg so you can tool him up something for his leg. So he can get oh, tattooed yeah. on it. Yeah. You know what I did? 
You can do that while you're on vacation. I've only got one deal left, and there's two deals left to do. Oh, sounds like you need to make a new spoke. <laughs> sounds as if that. Because I don't. There's no way around it. Yeah, because we need to yeah. put these in. There's. <laughs> Is there room? What were you thinking when you did that, Liz? Charles, I didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> what? One, two, three, okay. four, five. No, so if you do, so if you do one more, it'll open up the top. Yeah. Well, Denny's gonna make a new spoke, so it's a good thing we didn't I'll put that pattern to. up. I'll have to. Don't you did know you? your wheels has Either six that. dresses on it? Either that. Here's what we could do. Oh, no. It would make a smaller lamp. We could just use one of those. But Denny, because you've already laced it. <laughs> you just imagine how quick you can cut it out. Can can you fit just one sure. more? Sure. It'd be just a little one. A little it one. would just yeah, it would just make the diameter smaller. What? What do you want to do? I don't. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I mean, it would go together quicker because then you'd only have to lace up two <laughs> instead of three. I mean, we're already half. It doesn't do matter. Since we can I just already that. have that riveted on. <coughs> you guys, this is live television. Right All right, here. well, See, here we go. <laughs> this is proof that even the pros... Yeah. I say you cut the rivets out. Cut the rivets uh, and make, make a new one? Smoke. All right, keep lacing. All right. <coughs> you guys, I'm going to have to leave you for a minute. So you can go cry. I'll be okay. I'm leaving it all up to you. Okay. <laughs> I think that's only fair, as I left you to start it. So. Okay. Thank you. Maybe if I open it up on the back side first, that would be better. Oops. Denny. Silly old Denny. Uh, let's see. Way off topic. It was for Denny, so it's going to be even further off topic. <laughs> <laughs> Wondering what weight you would recommend for a Western bridal versus a brow band. I feel like Tony could answer that question. Uh, the last nose bands I did was saddle skirting. They were like 13 ounces. I did have to um, toe split the end of it so that you could wrap it around. Yeah, you always um, gotta sky back your, your little turn backs. Yep. Yeah, usually, I mean, we cut, I think the Bronc halter, is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Um, this, wherever it goes on the horse's face. We cut ours out of uh, 9 to 10 ounce, mm -hmm. and then you can line it. Yeah. Um, is what we do ours, but yeah, if you don't line it, then just do it out of heavy. Horses are big creatures. Yeah, and I just they're, did, and they're pretty strong, too. I did it I heavy so that it wouldn't rip through. Yeah. It will last forever. Outlast the horse. Wow, what a mean thing to say. Well, that happens. <laughs> uh, but as far as a bridle, I would say 9 to 10 on the bridle part. Oh, you're finally going to finish that thing? I've put in like four stitches already. <laughs> I pretty much live here. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Denny hasn't asked for a saddle horseback. His little saddle stand. It's been in here so long, you might have forgotten. He, he might. It. He, he might only think he has one. <laughs> uh, the brow band for the nose. Oh, uh, a brow band for the forehead. I mean, eight, eight to nine, nine to ten. The only thing that I made lighter weight than that was a wither strap, and it was six to seven. Is that for the horse's withers? Yeah, it goes across to hold the uh, breast collar up. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I... You're waving that around everywhere. I can't really get a good shot of it. So you oh. just, well, let's get it's to the fun part that Denny was talking about. Yeah.
this seems this seems Probably really familiar. Sorry, go ahead. So this seems familiar. Isn't this the stitch? Is this a um the the baseball stitch or the football stitch? No, that one just is the straight across one. Yeah, football is just straight across and it's cross on the back side. Yeah. So if you turn it over, I guess it'd be a backwards football stitch. Yeah, this is the football side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I did. Remember that GIF I sent you the other day? I don't know. I don't even know what a GIF is. Oh, my God. Remember that GIF I sent you the oh, other yeah, day? I do remember that GIF you sent me. Yeah, the so I did that. when I. That was the video where I made... Oh, the bracelet. The bracelets. Yeah, yeah. yeah the football and the, the baseball um, cuffs. That was what that GIF was from. That a girl. <sighs> what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, how do you remove rivets? Is there no easy way to do that? With some pliers. You can cut them out. If you've got like the rivet and burr, you'd probably need to drill it out because those don't really I assume come out well. since the spoke is is useless anyway. Yeah, you we, could just cut all the spokes off and then from the back side of it you just stick some pliers in here so you're not marring the front side. You just take a big clip big, the post. Big pair of nippers and just on this side. Yep, it does. You must have not ever messed up a rivet, I guess. Guess not. <laughs> I probably only installed like three in my life. <laughs> yeah, here. Not that I know that we have a hole punch in here. Oh, here we go. Kind of a big hole punch, but it'll work because it's what we have in here. Sorry about that, Luna. She's not phased. She don't care about your rivet. I talked to uh, somebody the other day that has a dog from your same litter. Really? Mm hmm How did they know that? Because uh, they worked here. Didn't you get yours from Larissa? No. No? Mm-mm. Uh, Hotch is one of Larissa's. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, oh. Hotch, I talked to somebody that has a dog from the same litter. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was from some random... Because Larissa... Uh, maybe she had already had her batch, and we didn't get one of hers. Mm -hmm. So we found some random person out... What's after Willard? Ash Grove. Ash Grove. Or Walnut Grove. I think it, Depending it was on if Ash you turned Grove. or not. No, you just keep going. Alright, so there we go. I set my rivet. And I can just go in here. These are not really big enough. Let's assume that we have less material here. I can actually get around it. So I'm assuming that he's cutting it off. Or if you've got some side cutters, sometimes those like those are pretty extreme, and you need to be able to get in there. Right. But if you've got side cutters, do we have a pair of side cutters here? I thought we used two. You can go into like the side of the leather and clip it off. Then we just go. Like then you just go in between like yeah. that. I don't know. Can I do it with a pair of scissors? Do we have mm -hmm. a pair of scissors? Over? No, don't do that. That's gonna ruin the scissors. We, we did. Got, we we did have more. scissors. We used them yesterday. Hmm. Oh, right here. This will probably be. Okay. Mm. I won't do it. I won't mess them up. Let me go get a pair of side cutters. Is anybody monitoring the chats? <laughs> or are they just hanging out by themselves and asking all the questions? You know, when I saw how much Denny had done of this, I was like, man, Denny, you kind of did a lot. I don't know if there's going to be enough to do. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that I was wrong, and maybe he should have done a little more. <laughs> uh, Eric is asking, is the Craftmaster Pro Pony the only one we carry? Yes. The stitching pony? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a... Uh, we've got a pony and a horse. 
So we've got the Stitching Pony, which is a smaller version and quite a bit cheaper than the horse that we carry. We've got we've got one of each. He's got a spoke all drawn out. He's doing it out there? I guess. He didn't want the nervous of all these lights shining on him. It sounds like the group chat was planned. Got oh, the Facebook one? Yeah. Got deleted? Delayed. No. Delayed. Oh. So, it's not going to work very well because really my hole's too big for this. My hole punch. But anyway. Is that the general idea? That's the general idea. Woo! There you go. Throwing leather at Luna. <laughs> now you did it. Now she's ticked. But it just cuts it in two. Did it really? It, it did. You heard it snap, didn't you? I sure did. I used my sheer strength. <laughs> and um, sheared it off. There's no salvaging the rivets. No, you won't be able to use it again. That's that's not a thing. But you can get it out. Oh, look at that. Look at your... Okay. 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 What does a stitching horse look like compared to a pony? You sit down on a stitching horse? Well, no, so we've got... I mean, honestly, they're both probably ponies. It's just we call one a horse. Um, but it's not... It's not a true horse because a true horse is an actual, like, bench that you sit at. Um, but our, both of ours you sit on. Did you ask Michael's question on Facebook? Uh, is that the stitching horse? Uh, no, it's about lacing needlework. Oh, would you ever, would using the... Everlast lacing needle work for lacing in this project? I don't know what that is, so we might have to wait for Denny to come back. The Everlast lacing needle. Somebody else is that like the Everlasting Gobstopper? <laughs> Somebody else had commented and said it was their first time in your Cool. Hi, whoever you are that it's your first time, welcome to our show. You, you picked a real lively one here. Um, <laughs> Lacing and Denny disappeared because he made a spoke wrong. He made a six prong spoke instead of a seven prong spoke, which seems like a really silly mistake. Which is why I. Not a mistake, an oversight. An oversight. A discovery. A <laughs> discovery. Uh, well, maybe I'll be done with this by the time he gets back, um, even though it's not going to be. We still have to do two more of these. That's a lot. This is quite a project, guys. Yeah, the lacing part of it, cutting up the pieces and tooling it, probably is less time. Yeah. Oh, shucks. You did yesterday. Not Denny. I can be Denny. I can be Denny. All right, let's see it. Leather, 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 <laughs> leather, leather, leather. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all Denny says? Sure. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> I don't know that I've actually heard him say leather ever before. <laughs> you know what I think Denny should have done on these panels? What? Is skive the backside of them so that they are 45s. Mm. Like a little chamfer up there so that mm -hmm. they come together better. Yeah. I'll let him know. Yeah. That's not Denny either. That's not Denny either. Like, what's your impression of Denny? <laughs> Denny makes well, well, I need to get a mustache. mustache. <laughs> 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 
you go get me a muscle. Hey, yeah. hey I'm just a speaker. Then I'll make it work. Yeah. It's too cool. Uh, permalock needle. Okay. Um, the... I've never tried to use flat lace with a permalock needle. You just cut it and twist it in there. Did I think, you? Denny, or I think um, Kevin did it in his double loop lacing. He showed how to use each needle. With a permalock? I I've, I've always used uh, the permalock with uh, square lace, like the Latigo laces. If you're lacing up your baseball glove. I guess you could try. We, we, I need to ask Denny about that. I don't know how well the permalocks work with flat lace. Lacing is not my forte. Hey, I'm thinking of the wrong. Uh, em is asking about your pie crust leather, too. Oh! Well, I haven't. I only did the one uh, last Friday, and it actually it came out okay. But the, uh, the laser department got me... They had made a um, Tidex press, mm -hmm. and so they brought that to me so that I can try it again and then use the Kydex press to... Um, Where's that thing at? It was on the... F oh, I think it's in front of the um, vault, maybe? Oh, it's right here next to me. It's right here. Yeah, I'll get it in just a sec. I can walk over there. Okay. I kind of... I hammered the grate down and I didn't protect the leather when I did it so I kind of marred up the surface of the leather a little bit um, and then I think I'm going to take out the screws that hold the grate to the the machine because then I can I can expand because the screws come in right here and here and then on the top and the bottom to hold the grate down but isn't that pretty cool so I think with the kydex press and then taking those screws out and then I can get a full piece of leather in there to make a complete hexagon. And then I'm going to try to make a bag one of these days. I think it's pretty neat. So, you know, if any of you are ever at the secondhand store and come across a pie crust uh, <laughs> for your maker, make, make some cool leather with it. <laughs> and box of leather. Kathy was saying she's the first timer in the interaction between the staff and being real about how things go is a great way for us to learn about our mistakes. That's right. Be there soon, she says. Another cool. mistake. I forgot to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning, you guys. Tessa, make sure when you get your package, take a picture of it and use uh, hashtag SLC yellow tape. Trying to make that thing. Do you, uh, you, do you hear the, did you hear the joke about the blunt sewing? Needle? No. Mm -hmm. That was razor blades. Of course. What's your the joke about the blunt sewing needle? Welcome back, Denny. Thank you. Third time's a charm. I hope it doesn't take three times. <laughs> <laughs> so what did I miss while I was gone? Um, can you can you use a permalock needle with flat lace? You can. Okay. It, it would make it harder on something like this. you got to go through each hole twice. You would have to have a quite a, a large hole. You need a, probably a round hole like yeah. this one if you're going to use a permalock. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. Hey, Jenny. You ever heard the joke about the, uh, the blunt sewing needle? No. It's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, razor blades. That's a good one. It's pointless. <laughs> I think razor blades and Kevin will get along well. Now, razor blades in Australia. Yep. 
Kevin would love to live down there because he hates winter. Hates it. Well, he, where did Kevin grow up? Was it in Iowa? Or yeah. Well, you can see why he hates winter. Yeah. And for some reason, he thought it'd be fun to live in Fargo, North Dakota for like five years. Oh, yeah, that's even yeah, yeah, more, I don't know. more balmy. <laughs> I don't know why he would do that. <laughs> Seems like a pretty silly thing for someone who hates winter to do. I think it was Tandy's fault, though. I think that's where they stationed oh, him. Boy. <laughs> then he's back to setting rivets again. Yes. Hope I did it right this time. <laughs> do, you, do you have seven spokes? I'm surprised I didn't catch that. I feel I, I feel am, a little you, silly, actually. And you should. I you should have. I, I think I'm going to start blaming that on you. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm usually on point with my judgment, so yes. <laughs> I'm a little, a little disappointed in myself. Yeah, she waited till you lit, left till she started judging you. <laughs> well, I need a little judgment because <laughs> my judgment is fairly poor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! But I'm about back to square one here, you guys. Well, I'm getting close to the top of this, so that's good. All right. I think, I think that worked out well. Otherwise, you'd just been sitting over there twiddling your thumbs for a while. Right. Denny, I did realize that you should have, on these panels, you should have um, skived the inside edge so that they would have uh, came together at a 45. Uh, yeah, but if you'll notice, these pretty much butt together pretty well. You know, another way... I might be pulling mine too tight then. Uh, no. Wait till you're done and I'll, I'll tap it. It'll He'll flatten tap itself it out. out, I think. <gasps> that looks so pretty, it doesn't it? It did on the others. I think we need to do another one of these and do a filigree. <laughs> we had another comment from a first time viewer saying, Shine the light through the punched leather. That's, we, we were going to do the filigree and that's the deal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have two schedules. Lucky there. Two left. Perfect. No right. Just two left. <laughs> just two left. All right. Well, while you're finishing that, I'll show people. Now, don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I quit electrical work right after they said hey new guy go get the end of this screwdriver wet and stick it in a light socket we would never say yeah, that well that's when i quit only to jim <laughs> <laughs> but i bought all these parts what we have here this is the actual light socket and it comes apart like this and you can stick your wires in there and put it back together. And then it goes up through this hole, which is a bit too small, and screws this loop into it. Like this. And then I bought at your local hardware store, most of them will have this. It's a wiring set for a swag lamp, they call it. Which is 100% what we're making. Yeah, 100%. The swaggiest yeah. thing I've ever seen. It comes with the hooks and everything to hang it from the ceiling. And it comes with the, the electrical wires and the chain and this handy little off-on switch. Ooh. Which, I'm not going to connect all this stuff right now, but I'm showing you guys what you will need to finish this lamp. Okay. So you'll need the light socket and a loop to hang it from. And you, you can either buy this chain separately and a piece of wire separately with a with an outlet plug and a little off-on switch, or you can buy a kit like I did. I guess every place won't have kits. Maybe in in Matitsi, Wyoming, you can't find this kit. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. But you know what? We, most of us have Amazon these days, and I bet there's one yeah. on there. Yeah, you can find them. They're they're readily available at most hardware stores, or I know that those big box stores will have them. Like 
Lowe's or places like that. We finally got ourselves some Menards here recently. Yes, and that's where we go. Do you do your grocery shopping there too? Uh, some. Yeah, <laughs> some. It's pretty cool. A lot of yard with groceries. I was, I know, I was blown away the first time we went in. I was like, what kind of, I was like, where am I? <laughs> they have like holiday cards and magazine racks and milk next to your yeah. cereal and your honey and your flooring choices. And you can buy appliances. You can buy what else? Gardening stuff. You buy anything? What stuff? Gardening. Gardening. Yeah. You can buy yeah. mattresses. Lumber. Yeah. <laughs> mattresses. <laughs> Furniture, yeah. Clothes. All those sorts. Plumbing. Yeah, they've got clothes. Your yeah. Dr. Pepper. You have to build a house and then furnish your house there too. You wouldn't have to go anywhere. <laughs> and and feed yourself. It's it's better than come and go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't I don't think that they have a soda machine. I haven't no, seen that they yet. Don't. No. Probably in their break room. They Menards. Do. You got yeah. You got to you got to get yourselves a. Or you mean a fountain. Drink. A fountain machine. Oh. Yeah. Denny, were there other colors besides gold when you were there? Yes, they had uh, antique brass. I, I don't believe I saw any chrome or silver colored. But uh, I know you can you can buy that chain in different colors, and yeah. of course you know the electric wire. Michael said that they even have them now that you can do with a remote so you don't have to use a, a toggle sure. switch. Sure. Just put on the remote. It, it is, who said that? Michael. Michael, if you're an electrician, would you come down and hook this up for me? Yeah. We're getting close, Denny. You are getting close. It's about time. Well, it's... I was I telling him, um, I thought I thought that you'd put too much of it together, and I was like, man, we're not going to have anything to do, but... Uh, yeah. I was mistaken. That's what I was getting at when you first came <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a job. We aren't going to have this finished today, I don't believe. I will finish it this afternoon. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think we want to. I mean, it'd be a lot of fun for you guys to just watch us lace up the whole other two sides. Two more. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm proud of you though. You're sticking with it. Aw, oh, thanks. Well, I don't give up. No, you are not a quitter. I'm not a quitter. You'd be gone long ago from <laughs> that. Exactly. <laughs> uh. That's good. You know, that's what I was saying. You know, when you're, if you get in a hurry, you're going to just get frustrated doing, doing this kind of stuff. You just need to take your time. Do just one find your hole at a time. Yeah. A friend of mine said, just catch a happy little gate and go on. Just put on a movie that you really like and yeah. you don't really need to watch. Just listen to. <laughs> uh, Razor Blades asked if Kevin could deal with 104 temperatures. Sure, we go to Arizona in February. As long as it's a dry heat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did that backwards. That's all right. Symmetry, Liz. Good thinking, Liz. That was smart right there. Thanks. That's right. Symmetry in everything. Okay, now to finish that up, okay. just come come back through each hole just like you ordinarily would, and then cross over and go back through that top hole okay. again. So the top hole actually gets three places in it. Well, I better open up that hole then because it's not going to let yeah, me do that. What time do you think you'll have it done today, Denny? You have somebody that wants to come in and see it? Yeah, Kathy, who was a, who was the first time making it to a live, said she was going to come in, but she wants to see a completed product. Well, I mean, we got this one. I can't guarantee what time it will be finished. We close at 6, and Denny probably leaves at 5. Yeah. So if you come yeah. in at 4, it'll be close. Denny might leave a bit early today, <laughs> Okay. he probably won't. So no guarantees today. Yeah. You could come tomorrow. Oh, are you done after no, today? No, I, I will be here tomorrow. I've okay. got a class tomorrow. Come in and see me tomorrow. Yeah, come in and see tomorrow. Okay, so I got this. I'm going to go back across. Mm -hmm. And you'll definitely need to poke it. <laughs> okay. Don't poke yourself. I already did that once. I know. I saw it. Everybody saw <laughs> Did you scream? I said, ow. <laughs> and then she put the fit down. Well, there's no good way to do that. Okay. You 
got to hold your mouth just right. <laughs> exactly. And you do a good job at that. Oh, thanks. It's because it's so big. Um, well, you know, me too. All right, Denny, you got it. You take okay. it from here because okay. I, I feel like it's a little bit messy. Uh, that's fine. Kay. That's fine. By the time I <sighs> hammer on that a little bit. Okay, now to finish that off. I'm going to move my computer in here for the rest of the afternoon. My office is so cold, it is hard to type. You just get one of those little cart things where you can just push it around where until you find your so favorite find spot to sit. <laughs> <laughs> she said she'll be in tomorrow then. Perfect. Be on the lookout for Kathy. Okay, Kathy. You'll have to ask for him. Yeah. We keep him, we keep him sequestered to his own little room. I'm not good with people. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, that's why I'm not up in front anymore, is because I embarrass them too bad. <laughs> All right. Would you kind of hold on to that so I, so I can hit your hand? Hit my oh. hand. We're just not showing anybody anything. <laughs> Uh, did you work on this all day see, yesterday? See the I do. I see what that did. Did I work on it all day? Yep. Well, off and on, yes. So what do you think? About six hours yesterday, and then we did an hour last video. We got an hour into it here. So what, mm -hmm. about ten hours? Well, now, if, if I was in a closed shop and there wasn't a lot of people around, probably six or seven hours. Maybe. Well, maybe 10 hours. I don't know if you count the stamping, you know. Probably, yeah, probably a, a good day, day and a half. Yeah. All right. So our last two dresses are sewn up. They go here, and then they get sewn up again. But we're not going to make you guys watch that yeah, again. There's, there's two more seam delays now. But it's going to look pretty cool, I think. Oh, man, lacing that last seam is going to be awful. It might be the easiest one because oh, it can't although, go anywhere. That is you know? true. Start, starting is the hard part. Yeah. Getting started. Okay. All right, you guys. And that's all she wrote. Thank you so much for my <laughs> what time in discrepancies. Is it? <laughs> I mean, just oh, it's, it's an hour. Then. Okay. Huh? It's just now noon. It is just now noon. Oh, Does anybody wow. have any other questions about uh, lamp? Oh, look what Denny did. So I messed up my tooling. Last week, I put I put a just a single little guy right here instead of you know I just anyways so he made these fun little doodads coming off of that and he fixed it for me. Thanks, Denny. They're they're little nuclear explosions. <laughs> nuclear explosions. <laughs> uh, yeah. So each panel on here is different. I think that's neat that we did each panel different. Yeah, we're going to have to find. Maybe we can hang this in my office instead of the lamp that's currently there. Get a little yeah. bit more downward yeah. facing light in the cave. Get one of those fancy light bulbs for it. Oh, those Edison bulbs? Yeah. yeah. Those are cool. Let's see. We're still talking about Menards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this is the crowd for Menards. That is a thing. <laughs> Well, Denny, do you want to start lacing up one on, oh, on the Twitch after on the Twitch after party? Uh, I guess. We'll just start start up one. You start up one there, and we'll end it here in a second. Then we'll just finish okay. what we can over there. All right, guys. So we're just gonna. This should work out all right. Um, and then Tony will post the two little pieces of pattern that you'll need if you wanted to make one. Um, the correct spoke. The and, correct uh, spoke. Little dress. And one little yes. dress. And I did. Uh, <laughs> what stamp were you using? The four, the four quilted stamp, I think, is what it was. Yeah. All oh, of them will be labeled in the in the description. All the ones that that we carry. Look at that. My scissors are magnetic. <laughs> mm -hmm. We did use a couple Barry Kings, and then this is a Clay Miller. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've got a Clay Miller tool in here. Mm, a berry king basket weave, I think. But then otherwise, I think most of them are yeah. ours. Yeah. So 
Yeah, that's oh, and then there's the weird one that we can't find. Yeah. The shell tool. Yeah, the beautiful shell that I love. That we can't find, but I bet Will will have one eventually. We're checking out Sergey to see what his options are. Alrighty, folks. Well, we just watch just watch a little bit as we get started. I mean, same thing over and over, about an hour. We got, what, about two hours left? One thing <laughs> quick. Do you think we could both? No, we probably shouldn't both lace it at what the same time. What is that? This is my, this is, oh, did I not? No, you, I you were here last that. week. But we did it on the after. Oh, yeah, so this is my pie crust cutter that I got at the thrift store. Did I not show you this? No. Oh, my good gracious. So, I went to Oklahoma last week, and we went to this really fun jeans antique store in, in Miami, Oklahoma. Nope, that's wrong, in Veneta, Oklahoma. Um, so, sorry, my dad is from Miami, and my mom is from Veneta, and I get them all mixed up, because they look the same. They're both us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oklahoma's. <laughs> So, so we were at Jeans Collectibles, really sweet old guy, it was fun, and I found a ton of stuff. But this is a, a pie crust cutter, so I assume what you do is you push it down in your pie crust, and then you oh, push it off. Yeah, and, and you then, have those lace needles and, yep, for the top. Latticed cool. pie crust without latticing. So really nice. nice and handy. But anyways, I bought it, and I was like, I'm going to emboss some leather, because that's what we do here. Wow. And so I did. So I wet this really good last week, and I stuck it in here, um, and then I let it dry, but I hammered it, and so I kind of marred up the surface a little bit. So I need to do it again. Put some, well, so then, uh -huh. So this is, every time, this is a uh, stuff. This is a Kydex press that our laser team made. It was made on the CNC. Oh, yeah, so it was made on the CNC machine that we have over there because Rusty bought it because it was cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottom layer of foam out so that I can put this in there, and then I can press it, wow. and it should be yeah. a little bit more consistent. Yeah, um, and then you get rid of those. Exactly, those. and I'm going to take out these screws so I can create the full hexagon shape, and then I'll just press the grate into it because it should fall okay without being screwed in. Mm -hmm. And then I can make a bag. Nice. So I'll do a front and a back, and then I'll... Um, do the gusset and make a bag out of it. Isn't that cool? It's cool. Right. So anyway, so, you know, go thrifting and have fun with your finds. How wonderful is that? I think that's really cool. Yeah, and I think I'm going to try to block dye it because you should be able to oh, get yeah. some pretty cool yeah. colors going on. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. It'll be fun. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Probably not on a live. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't know. We'll see what Tony makes me do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You okay. guys have a great weekend. Bye. Yep, thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> <laughs>